Fun fact about the tomato, it's neither a vegetable nor a fruit. It's an egg. I had a vision, a dream of sorts, where there was a thumbnail in which I was holding a giant, beautiful ravioli. I'm talking a foot by a foot ravioli square as big as my hands. That's why I got this pot. Massive. So I'm gonna make it more like a lasagna filling, ground beef and tomato sauce. You need a big cutting board for a big boy. What are you doing with your skin still on? The French language, so beautiful. Onion. Oh, uh, sweet goddess, what have you brought me? You've brought me a sweet elixir? In high school, I was getting really into cooking and I did go through a phase where I ate pizza almost every day, homemade pizza. Um, it was a disaster. I did get better at making pizza, but at what cost? It wasn't like every day, it was like five days a week, but uh, it was still sad, you know? Do I really want you in the kitchen right now? They need to make a garlic plant that is a lot easier to get into because this is a disaster. They need to crossbreed garlic with like bananas so they just come in a pod. Kind of like jazz. It's about the chunks of garlic you don't chop that add texture and flavor to the dish. Ah. I'm gonna give the garlic and onion some time to exchange business cards. Have you seen an elephant being born? That's right. It really comes from an egg. Oh my God, you'll never guess what I found inside of here. A D-cell battery. Garlic and onion have been married for 35 years. Now they want to spice up their relationship a little bit. Someone's getting cucked and everyone's into it. Amen, brother. While that's cooking, I think we go mortal and pestle. Yummy, yummy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll use that much. And now, just like our ancestors, we crush things with rocks. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's fragrant. Skidoosh. Oh, I kind of missed it. Dang. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's actually really good. Because then it means I get to do this. That's right. All right, hey, listen, we got one hour until my birthday party, so you have to cook quickly. Let me add the tomato sauce. Mmm. Oh. Shh, 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 shh. It's kind of watery right now, but we're gonna have it simmer for like 20 minutes. It should get a lot thicker. If not, we will have a wet ravioli. <laughs> mm. and Flower time. I freaking love that. I love that. We make a little volcano like you practiced with your gravy and potatoes. One egg, two egg, three. Uh-oh, volcano is going to overflow. A spitz of salt, olive oil. Come on, old lady. Oh no. Oh, Jesus. Start mixing, just start mixing, hurry up. Nina Garnon on the freaking Food Network doesn't show you this, huh? I wonder what the property brothers are up to right now. I think they're both married now, you know? I don't know, one of them got divorced at one point and I was like, ooh, but then I think they got remarried now, so. One day I'll be married to a property brother. This is a metaphor for you, and this is my fist. You are probably wondering like, wow, actually, what's that really beautiful piece of artwork? It's like, is it actually real? Is it living? Yes. And this is my terrarium. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ugh. All right, that's some salty water. Oh, Jesus, that was close to my phone. <laughs> what an absolute unit. I would like it to be a little less saucy, but the thing is, it's always easier to work with a, a cold filling than a warm filling. A cold meat than a warm meat. Cold beef than a than a hot beef. Get, getting stuffed is always better when it's cold. I don't I don't want this to be sexual anymore. GoPro. Unleash your limits. What's the GoPro saying? Jump off a building. Go bike riding. Putting this in the freezer, that should be enough. So this will even reduce a bit more and we'll use whatever one is better. I would just do this on the countertop, but that cat that you saw earlier jumps on here four times a day, and he also uses a litter box, so 
do the math. All right, I kind of wish I hadn't told you that because realistically, I need to use this countertop uh, because it's just so much easier to work on. Good news, you don't have to eat this. This is more of an art piece than a recipe or a dish. I need this visual to be realized in real life. It's not looking amazing. Mm -hmm. It's not the most beautiful little pageant queen. The water is boiling. My birthday party is in 15 minutes. We have to go. How much filling do I want? I want a lot of filling. I want this to be a really good ravioli. Hey, do you actually want to do your job and actually look at what I'm doing instead of just sitting there? God. All right, I think you can just use water. I'm using egg wash. Oh, okay. So that's quite a bit. All right. We drape. Nice. Ugh. Yeah. I'm surprised more of the Food Network isn't just the host grunting. This is a giant ravioli. I don't think this is where I was supposed to use the egg whites. Maybe I was supposed to like do this. My party's in like 10 minutes and if this isn't cooked by then, I'm gonna scream. God, it's so big. Uh, R slash food, homemade, giant ravioli. Oh my God, I think I actually do have to post this on Reddit. The fact that I made a, a giant Reddit ravioli actually makes me kind of sad. All right, you may have thought, wow, he did it. He made a giant ravioli, that's cute. Now is the difficult part. God, that's wet. I don't think I was supposed to put the egg wash on top. That's all right though. I have this thing. We're gonna put the ravioli all on this. This is what we're gonna drop into the water. Wish me luck, mother. Oh, well, that's very warm. Maybe we do a plate flip. It's like warm, which makes the dough more vulnerable, right? So we do the plate flip. Don't know if you saw that, but it was masterful. Now that we have it on this plate, we can caress it in this basket. Don't want to apply too much pressure. Oh, it's sticking to the plate. Oh, disaster. Oh, this is tragic. The heat from the center, which I knew was going to be an issue, sort of made it fuse with the plate. We've officially lost our mind now. I'm putting ice. It will cool it, lifting the ravioli off from it. Oh my God, the egg made it even stickier. What if I just put this plate in the boiling water? Oh my God, it's gonna fit. So this is a big pot of boiling water. Remember? Oh Jesus, good thing I permanently damaged my camera. Pot of boiling water. <laughs> uh, that's my ravioli. I love him, goodbye. I'm gonna bring that to the slightest boil you could ever think of. I'll, I'll check it in like 10 minutes. Since you last saw me, we have good news, bad news, and bad news. The good news is the ravioli's cooked, I think. Bad news is it's in a pot of boiling water with no way of getting it out. And the other bad news is that as I was cooking it, I noticed an awful smell. And I was also cooking a sticker on the bottom of the pot that seemed to be releasing some sort of toxins. I think maybe I'll try straining it a little bit right now. What plant do I not like? Yay. I forgot there is another bit of bad news. The ravioli looks uh, quite odd. Oh my God. I just accidentally clipped it with one of these. I gotta be upfront with you guys. I totally lied to you in the thumbnail. This is what it actually looks like. <laughs> my poor baby. What have they done to you? <laughs> it's still stuck to the plate. I'm keeping it on the plate and I'm gonna get these freaking thumbnails, baby. Ah, this is hot. I can get rid of the plate. Let me just, I'm gonna put my hands out here and then get an enlarged version of a ravioli and put it on top. I can even use someone else's hands. I don't even have to use my hands. This is genius. So there it is. That's my boy. He's very brave, isn't he? And he, it's, it's so stuck. The texture also, <laughs> Leave some to be desired. If you look at it, I think that's cooked. It's a bit dry down there, but that is a ravioli like a pizza slice. I mean, things did fall apart and I did call that, but this was a little bit more sad than I thought it would be, especially because this is my actual lunch. I just planned this poorly, so now I am actually eating this for lunch. All right, let's make sure it doesn't smell like toxic plastic. I feel straight up ravioli. In fact, my filling is pretty good. Let me try one of the corner pieces. I don't think this is supposed to be good though. No, no, it's really not. Mm, some more good news. No one showed up to my birthday party. So I give this to myself, man. It's not terrible. It's, I think what I learned here is that you don't actually need to create art. Instead, you can fake it out on the internet with Photoshop 
and it will be just as rewarding. So I'm gonna do that next time. Thanks for watching, bye.